Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 21. This video we're going to be taking a look at working with our fuel injection timing programming. Now our fuel injection timing is going to be related to when we want to spray our fuel within the auto cycle. We want to be very specific with this so we deliver the fuel when our intake valve is about to open. This will give us better economy, better drivability, and better throttle response. There's a lot of little details to cover here and programming our injector timing. So let's jump into this video so we can check out how to work with this within our Max ECU. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with programming or fuel injection timing within our MAX ECUs. This is going to be something very important that we time right within our auto cycle so that we deliver the fuel when the intake valve is right about to open. If we don't time this right, we'll find that we can lead to having an increase in fuel consumption, which is going to be killing our fuel economy. It can allow the engine to have hesitations as we're driving around and poor throttle response. It's going to create drivability problems. Now, if we time it right, we're going to find we have nice fuel and air mixture. So we have a nice atomization effect as the fuel is getting sprayed into the engine. And as a result, we'll be using less fuel, improving our fuel economy, giving us better torque and better throttle response. Those are definitely positive things that we want to see happen. So dealing with injection timing is going to be important. We want to make sure we're starting off with values that make sense. So in this video, we're going to be breaking down how that's all going to work. Now, let's take a look at our fuel injection timing to get started here, and we'll go through this a little bit further so we understand what we're dealing with and how we're going to be programming it. So jumping in here to our side window under ECU tuning, we're going to move down into fuel. Now under fuel, we're going to go into fuel general. And then under fuel general, we're going to scroll our way all the way down to the bottom under injection event angle. This is where we program our fuel injection timing. Now we have some options here, angle reference, event edge, and then injection angle. Now we'll find here the angle reference is going to be referencing where we're going to look at the degrees that we're programming here in our injection angle. Also the event edge as well, but the before TDC or after TDC here is going to be our options. Now in this case, we want to go and reference before TDC in this particular orientation that I'm going to be teaching in this video here. So that's going to be the option that I select. TDC is going to be when we're looking at the top dead center between compression and our power combustion stroke. That is going to be where we're focusing on. So we're going to be taking all of our degrees that we're programming here in our ignition angle table, and it's going to be before the actual event occurs, before the actual combustion event occurs. Now, the event edge, this is going to be a couple different options here. Start of injection, end of injection, center of injection. So SOI, EOI, or COI. COI is kind of obscure. That's usually not used. Start of injection is going to be more common when we're talking about a direct injection engine. End of injection, or EOI, is going to be what we choose and work with on a port injection engine. This is the industry standard when we're talking about our injection timing. So this is what I'm going to be sticking with, and this is what you'll find across many other standalone systems and OEM ECUs. Now when we're talking about our injection timing here, we are going to have this table that we have to program. This is going to be our injection angle of where we're going to tell the injector to start spraying at. Now in this EOI based reference, this is kind of an odd concept to explain here. So we're going to be moving into looking at an Excel spreadsheet calculator. I have a graphical illustration that's going to break down what EOI reference is going to be because to explain it again is a little bit confusing. Let's take a look at this. Jumping into this Excel spreadsheet calculator that you can download in the training course, I have this picture here that's going to be breaking this down. Now we can see this particular, uh, this particular circle here, this is going to be representing of our auto cycle. We have a compression stroke, an intake stroke, an exhaust stroke, and a power stroke. So these are going to be the different strokes of our auto cycle. Now normally when we're talking about a top dead center between our intake and exhaust stroke, that's going to be zero degrees. But in the event of talking about our end of injection reference injection timing, that's going to be what's known as 360 degrees. And we'll find zero degrees is going to be between our compression power stroke. This is where our piston's at TDC. This is going to be the same kind of reference when we're talking about the actual ignition timing or spark timing from our spark timing table. That's going to be degrees before top dead center, and that's actually what this is going to represent. So when we're dealing with end of reference, end of injection reference timing or EOI based injection timing, this is going to be all degrees before top dead center. Now what's confusing about this, and I also want to make this very clear here, that this is going to be where we want to actually have the injector starting to spray. Even though it's called end of injection reference or EOI, it is going to be that point. So if I command 360 degrees within my table here, 
that's going to tell my Max ECU that I want to actually. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.